He was the most macho fighter in boxing. Those demonic black coal eyes. His evil looking menacing eyes. He, he got it, he got under my skin. He really did. He just, you know, he talked trash, he cursed me, cursed my wife. He seen Sugar Ray Leonard's wife at a press conference. He flipped her off and yelled, whore. I was in awe of the whole event. I mean, the huge cameras and all reporters from around the world. Uh, it was just too big. I mean, I lost perspective. Roberto Duran challenging Sugar Ray Leonard. Last minute instructions from Angelo Dundee. Last but I abandoned what was really the key to beating a guy like Duran, using my boxing, using my speed. I wanted to go in there, and I went flat-footed. Freddie, Leonard is flat-footed. He did not come out to dance. He wants to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. He's flat-footed. Oh, he took a hard left hook, and hit him back. Leonard wants to trade with him. Leonard wants to trade with him, and Duran is willing to oblige. Leonard is not backing off. Leonard is not running. He wants to exchange with Duran. You were determined not to run, not to box. You wanted to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. I just got, almost, I got so frustrated that I got discouraged. Son of a gun. Look, look how close, look how close Duran is getting. Duran punches were just like, like cinder blocks, man. That's probably the hardest punch he's ever been hit with as a professional. stays flat-footed with him. Unbelievable. Oh, Duran working on him again. I tried to outslug him. I tried to out-hustle him. Duran working on that body, and that's going to cost Ray. Because if Ray doesn't get out of there, he's going to get his ribs broken. Why would they want Leonard to take him inside? Nobody hurt! Leonard in trouble again! Which was not smart by any means. Uh, 15 rounds of that pretty much taught me a major lesson that I gotta think first too. Yep. Because Sugar is starting to fight off the ropes. Incredible fight. Not what we expected at all. I figured it'd be a dancing Leonard, but he wants to beat Duran at Duran's kind of fight. I tell you one thing, it is an even fight, and it's so subjective. And I didn't realize that I was losing the fight until, you know, the 12th round. I'm gonna give it my all, and if I get knocked out, oh well, but I'm about to go toe to toe and show this man he ain't gonna make me quit. I'd rather die than quit. In boxing terms, they call this a war. 24 hey, seconds remaining. I think this decides the fight. After the fight, I laid in my room, all sore as hell, and all of a sudden, he walked into the room. He said, Dad, if I had an ounce of your heart, I'd be okay the rest of my life. I mean, tears came to my eyes. I mean, he didn't know how, how good I felt. I called Mike Trainer, my attorney, and I said, Mike, I want to fight Roberto Duran again, 
ASAP. The rematch happened just five months after the first fight. Surrounded by his entourage, Sugar Ray Leonard, the challenger, the champion going into last June 20th, but after that, the challenge. Here comes the champion, the man who openly says that Leonard is afraid I'm so focused, I'm so, I'm ready to go now. It's a totally different attitude. And then Ray Charles sings America the Beautiful. Contrary to popular belief, you're not named after Sugar Ray Robinson. It is actually Ray Charles. <laughs> you had no clue that Ray Charles was going to be in the ring performing what was going to be our anthem that night. You know, they say, well, you know, the stars were lined up. Yeah. That was, the stars lined up. And Leonard, who was very tense in the hours earlier, now seems oddly poised and confident. We'll be back with the start of the fight in a moment. He comes over to me, gives me a big hug and big kiss, and he says, kick his ass. Oh, there was no way I was going to lose that. When the bell rung, when Ray Charles finished singing America the Beautiful, I knew I had it. But he re catches a right and left, lands all right. That's the Sugar Ray Leonard punch that drew the crowd. These two men do not like each other. Good right hand by Leonard. Good the right hand. Right he's smiling. He knows he's in with a tougher fighter tonight. What do you think really happened that night in the Superdome? Leonard came to fight, then, as you said, Larry, confidence personified. Very confident. And if he could do this for 15 rounds, then you have a new champion. I was using my footwork and my speed. Uh, never really got against the rope. And when I did, I spent I spun out. Leonard refuses to get pinned against the ropes like he did in Montreal. Go back and watch that and look at his Duran's eyes. It wasn't those piercing eyes. You know, and man. it is a vastly different human being that Duran is tonight. He got personal with you, and you were handling Duran in that second fight. You even taunted him throughout the fight. Doing a little dodgy now. And a little Ali. He's taunting Durant. The frustration, humiliation, the laughter. He is taunting Durant. One of the most famous fights in boxing history. I think everyone remembers the bolo punch and the winding up the right hand and hitting him with the left. And he's got Durant openly, not just furious, but puzzled. Durant troubled by the movement. The more I heard the fans or the audience laughing, the more I did it. I think those things just totally short-circuited Roberto Duran's mind. He gets away immediately. And what's happening? Duran says no. I think he's quitting. No. He said no more. And then he did it a second time. Hands of stone turned his back on Sugar Ray and uttered the now infamous words, no mas. He said, no, I don't understand. He's saying no, no, he quit. I don't understand it. I think Duran quit. I don't understand. Duran has quit. Roberto Duran has quit. I'm talking about quitting in the center of the ring. That's the worst way that you can quit. The bully, the man who could stand you down. When you claim to be the baddest, the toughest, the roughest, the meanest, fighter in the world. Duran just quit because he didn't want me to knock him out. I hold no respect for him as far as a man is concerned. I respect him as a fighter, don't get me wrong. I respect him as a fighter and as his accomplishments, his credentials. But as a man, I don't, I can't, I can't. Does that make it more satisfying that you may have made the roughest, toughest fighter at that time just basically capitulate? I made a funny! <laughs> Nobody brings it home like Joe. Nobody.